Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Advanced League Tips, a series where we take a look at each champion individually and break down their animation, cancels, input buffering combos, as well as item active interactions with their kit. Today we're going to be taking a look at Renekton, and we're going to be taking a look at a couple of input buffering and animation cancels that he has, as well as all relevant item active interactions with the Bruiser items. So, without any further ado, let's just jump right into it. So, the first thing we're taking a look at is the input buffering combo between War Drinker and his Q. Now, with other item actives that we're going to be looking at, uh, only Gore Drinker works with this combo. So, essentially, what the combo is, is overlaying both abilities together. So, with Gore Drinker, when you activate it, you just get an AoE, a quick AoE spin that deals damage and heals you, and Renekton's Q pretty much does the same thing. So we get the spin, and then with Gore Drinker, we get that spin as well. So the idea here is, is that we want to overlay both animations on top of each other, so we get two instances of damage right away, rather than one after the other. So essentially, the order is Gore Drinker first, followed by Q, but relatively close to the same time. So again, Gore Drinker, and then Q, and then if we overlay both of them together, we get both instances of damage, because we get the blue animation from Renekton's Q War Drinker. So, looking at that combo again, you see we get the red and the blue tied together. One more time for context. So, this allows you to get two instances of damage and increase the speed of your DPS. Now, if we do those abilities in reverse with Renekton's Q first, you see that there's actually a delay. So, if I... No matter what I do, if I try and input buffer Gore Drinker over top of his Q, it's not going to fire at the same time because the Q has to resolve before the animation for the Gore Drinker starts. However, if you do it with Gore Drinker input first, you get both, both instances of damage going off on top of each other rather than the opposite, which is what, uh, that combo right there. So that's the opposite right here to the Gore Drinker. And then Gore Drinker into Q is the right way to do it. The second thing we're going to be taking a look at is two input buff, or actually an animation cancel off of Renekton's W. So I have the press the attack rune here. Um, so with Renekton, you'll see that he gets all three instances of damage from his W auto attacks off, even though we're still canceling the animation. So let's start with W Gore Drinker. So prep the W. And in the middle of the animation, you see that Gore Drinker winds up, and it cancels the third auto attack from Renekton's W, but because we see that Renekton gets his um, three auto attacks off and we get the press the attack symbol, we still have all three auto attacks from that ability go off. So one more time for context, prep W, and in the middle of his auto attacks, the Gore Drinker still fires, but we still get that symbol from press the attack, so the input buffer, or the animation cancel, I should say, from W still goes off. Now, this same principle can be applied to his other uh, animation cancel with his ultimate. So let's start with W. And you can see that in the middle of his auto attacks, at about the same time that we had for Gore Drinker, it cancels the animation of his third auto attack, but we still get the animation from his ultimate going off. So we get those three instances of damage, plus the input from his ultimate. So looking at that one more time, prep the W, and then go W ultimate. So it went one, two, three, right before the third auto attack went off and canceled his ultimate proct, and we still got all three instances of damage, plus press the attack from his W, and his ultimate went off there. Unfortunately, with his E, there really isn't anything that he can use. He can't even dash flash as we've covered in previous videos because when he dashes, as you can see, flash as well as his other abilities and his item actives are um, canceled out for some reason. I guess they don't want to flatten the champion too much, but um, yeah, for some reason with his dash, you really can't do anything. Now, taking a look at Stridebreaker. Um, this is a relatively good item on Renekton since he is kind of an immobile um, champion. However, just to show you guys how this item active works with his other abilities, you can see with his Q, you can't input buffer the same way as you can with 
with Gore Drinker because the animation for the dash has to finish. Now, you can obviously input the cue, but again, it still has to wait to resolve. And if we do it opposite, um, same principle applies. So, you wait for that to resolve, and then the dash room stride breaker goes off um, with his uh, ultimate input buffer. This is how it is going to work. So, all three auto attacks have to resolve for stride breaker to go off. Again, you can't input buffer it like his ultimate or gore drinker. And then, with his ultimate, again, animation has to resolve. And then, with his dash. As you can see, all of his abilities get locked out, including Stride Breaker. And then if I use Stride Breaker, he can go, obviously, Double Dash, but the animation from Stride Breaker, once again, has to resolve. And then finally, with our last item, our, la our last relevant item, I should say, which is Prowler's Claw, uh, there is something very interesting. You can input buffer with his Q, but it's very hard to do. Like, it's almost... Like, you don't necessarily build Prowler's Claw on Renekton anyway, but, like, the input buffer really isn't that important. So, essentially what it looks like is during the windup of Prowler's Claw, um, you can't cast Q. But if you get the time right, timing right, um, during the cast bar, at the end of it, you can input the Q during the dash. So, again, this isn't something that is necessarily, like, the best thing in the world to know, but, like, you still know that it, it exists. Now, with his other items, or his other abilities, just for context, here's the W. Oh, I messed that up. Alright, his W's still active, so... So, as you can see, all three auto attacks have to resolve with Prowler's Claw. With his E, it gets locked out, and then with his ultimate, obviously, the ability has to resolve, resolve just like that. So... Again, um, with his Q, you have to wait for the ability to stop channeling, and then you can input your Q during the dash. But while it is channeling, you can't you can't really <coughs> uh, use your Q like in that instance there. So let's try that one more time. Yeah, mess that one up. So yeah, in the middle of the dash, he can he can throw his Q, but it has to be during the dash, not during the windup. So. Well, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, we will see each other again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.